Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out a waterless shampoo. Now this is the natural waterless shampoo in the scent Rosemary by The Shampoo 360. I did purchase this from MimiBox.com for $3. I will leave a link down below for you guys. They do also have it in lemon which I did not purchase. Now, everything on this bottle is not in English, so I did bring up the Mimi Box website here, and under why we recommend it, it says get your locks on fleek whenever, wherever, with this waterless shampoo. It keeps our hair grease, dirt, and odor free, whether we're super busy or just lazy. And what it is is, an eco-friendly waterless shampoo that allows you to clean your hair whether you're in the office or running late for a date. Enriched with natural and safe FDA approved ingredients, this foamy shampoo detoxes hair from oil, dust, and smog. Yeah, it says smog. Revitalizing each strand to look and feel as pure as it does after a fresh shower. You simply rub on and dry off, no water or rubber ducts necessary. And like I said, I did get the rosemary one, and it does say rosemary oil stimulates hair growth, slows down graying, and treats dandruff and dry scalp. And that is specifically why I got the rosemary one, because I am trying to stimulate my hair growth and all of that. So, let's go to the instructions. It does say dispense three to five pumps in your hair or onto clean hands. Spread the shampoo throughout your hair with fingertips and gently rub your hair as you would with regular shampoo until the foam completely disappears. Dry off with a clean and dry towel. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at how it looks. Ooh, it is super foamy. It's very almost watery. It doesn't feel sticky or any of that. It just feels like water. And you can definitely smell the rosemary in it. I love that. Okay, so even though it did say that you don't need water, I am going to split my hair right down the middle and I am going to wet one half and then apply the waterless shampoo and then I will just do the other side dry. And as you can see, I did prepare for this video. I have not washed my hair in about a week. I haven't used any dry shampoo or anything when I did shower. I would either put my hair up in a bun or I would put it like in my little like towel wrap thing. So let's get into this and you guys might be able to see just how greasy my hair is right now. I never go this long without washing my hair so it's pretty bad and I am probably going to be shedding everywhere. Alright, let's put this side up in a little pigtail. Perfect. And then I am going to start with this side. This side I am not going to put any water in or anything, so let's just go in. I'm going to start with three pumps. And I am just going to work it through my hair. And I don't have that much hair, but I don't think that is going to be enough. So I'm going to do two more. I'm going to comb it through. And I really think this would be a lot better on wet hair because then you wouldn't use as much product. I have three more pumps and it doesn't really dispense a whole lot of product. So that's also a concern of mine. And just one half for good measure, just at the base here where it gets really greasy. Okay, now I am going to 
clip this side up. If I can find a clip, hold on, good enough. And then take this side down. I just have a water bottle with some water. And I'm just going to dampen this side. Okay, I think that is wet enough. Now let's go in with three pumps and do the same thing. Okay, now that I have it on both sides, it does say to towel dry, but there's really not a whole lot to towel dry. So I am just going to go in and blow dry it like I normally would. And I don't separate it or anything as I'm blow drying it. I just kind of go in and dry everything. Worst. Okay, my hair is not completely, completely dry, but it is dry enough for me to say that this did not work. I mean, it worked a little bit better on the wet side than it did the dry side, but I think that's because it was like able to spread out better. But I do still feel really greasy just running my hands through it's almost like sticky a little bit, but that could be my fault for, you know, having so much oil and just grease in my hair. But I don't know if I'm really a fan of this stuff. I think this stuff gets a thumbs down from me. Now, it might work better for different hair types, different hair textures, maybe third day hair, but it has been... I think it's been around five or six days and my hair just gets really oily really fast anyway so I just don't think that this one is for me I don't know let me know in the comments below if you've tried this if it worked for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also comment down below letting me know any other hair products makeup products skincare products that you guys would like to see me try out here on my channel and I will do my best to get my hands on them. And for now, you guys have a great one. And I will see you next week. Bye. Mwah. I need to go actually wash my hair now. Bye, guys.